Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I want to take some time to do an update on like where my curly hair journey has been recently, because I actually have been struggling a lot with my hair recently. So I wanted to do an update just in general on my hair, and then do a review roundup of all the recent products that I found that have worked really well for me. A couple of these products I did talk about in my last empties video, if you missed it, I'll throw that up in the cards, but a lot of these are just separate products um, and not all of them are empty. So some of them are ones that I'm still using, but I've probably repurchased at least a couple of times by now. So let's do the update first. So I have been, I think it's been just over three and a half years now, I have been Curly Girl. Um, and when I say Curly Girl, I don't mean following the full Curly Girl method as uh, laid out by like founder of Diva Curl because that's actually the person who created the Curly Girl method. By Curly Girl, I just mean I've been keeping my hair curly. I, I think I've straightened my hair once or twice in the last three years. I've been, I've been doing my best just to keep it curly. And I have to say the one season, I, I hate this, I hate summer. I just in general, I really don't like summer, but especially when you have thick curly hair, ah, it's, it's summer's the worst. And I really struggled with my hair like the last three months. And it was a combination of summer and humidity and frizz changing because you also have to keep in mind that all your products that you really like for like the winter might not work for you as well in the summer because your hair needs different things in the summer like I need a strong crunchy gel more so than the winter in winter I can get away with just using a curl cream and my curls look really really nice because there's no humidity and it's nice and cold and it's great it, it, it's different now <laughs> So the last few months, I've actually really not been liking my hair. I've been keeping my hair up in a bun like 90% of the time. And it was a combination of just not having the right products, uh, not doing the right treatments for my hair for the time of year or in general, and then uh, not trimming. So I have not actually gone to get a haircut and I've been pushing it off. COVID restrictions are lifted in my state, so I could go get a haircut. Um, I did look up uh, back in like February, the old salon I used to go to a few times and their prices like tripled. <laughs> And so I didn't necessarily want to spend $200 for a basic hair. That's a basic haircut. Like, I know people can spend a lot of money getting their hair dyed and whatnot at a salon, but for a basic haircut, it jumping up the $200, I could not. I could not. Um, so I was thinking about trying to find a new salon and then I was getting anxious about trying to find a new salon. So I just never went to cut my hair and it showed. I had horrific split ends like everywhere and so actually last night I did a uh, hair treatment and I just did a quick snip of all of my split ends and literally all I did is a uh, section by section I went through and I just snipped off like half an inch from everything and I can immediately tell the difference like this is the best hair day I've had in months uh, my curls are coming in they're looking really nice um, there are a few edges where they do look a little splayed but honestly like in general it just it helps keep my hair really really healthy and helps it grow even more so I need to keep that in mind the first step or the first thing I need to keep in mind is I need to trim Either I need to go to a salon or I need to do it myself, probably ev at least every six months, if not maybe every four months. So like I mentioned briefly, I did a hair treatment. Now I've been really good at deep conditioning my hair, which is separate. Uh, what I've noticed is that my hair, I really needed protein and I did not have any protein treatments on hand. I was doing some research trying to find a good protein treatment to like buy, but I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money. Um, and I kind of went back and forth and things and eventually I honestly I just came back to Olaplex. I didn't even realize this was technically a protein treatment um, but through a couple of articles that I found uh, like especially for like the best protein treatments for curly hair like this kept coming up and I have used this previously and it worked really well on my hair and it continues to do so. It is a little expensive especially because with my thick hair I think I get three uses out of the bottle and the bottle is about $28 and I bought it on the Sephora website um, but I cannot deny how great my hair turned out. So last night I did my trim and then I washed my hair and then I did the Olaplex treatment for 30 minutes under my hot head heat cap and I let it air dry. I do not diffuse, which I might start doing because it's just been so frizzy and hot. I think I have to start diffusing, but typically I don't. Um, and my hair turned out really, really nice overnight. So that's number two. Number one is I need to keep on top of my trims. Number two is I need to actually do protein treatments. I want to do them probably once a month or every other month because um, I hadn't, I, I think I went at least six or seven months without a protein treatment and it showed in my hair. And number three for me to keep in mind, I just realized I 
mouth looks so red. I'm drinking Gatorade. <laughs> so excuse my mouth. It looks very red. Anyway, number three is updating my products to match the season. So in the summer, my hair gets a lot frizzier. It's a lot coarser. I need a stronger gel and I for the longest time did not switch to find a stronger gel because I didn't think I need I don't know why I didn't think I needed one but I did. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the product reviews. First I want to talk about a few products that I got in PR from Madison Reed. They sent me their shampoo and conditioner kit which came with a shampoo and conditioner and a hair towel. So let's talk about the shampoo first. I actually really liked the shampoo. This is a sulfate shampoo so it does suds up. It does get rid of buildup but that's exactly what I liked about this. This was to me on on par with my favorite other sulfate shampoo. This is the Royal Oils Head and Shoulders Collection and this is the um, specifically the Scalp Care shampoo. So this is the sulfate shampoo, not the co-wash. I felt like they were on the same kind of playing field. I really liked this. The scent was a little strong but yeah, not too bad. Um, I really liked this and it lasted me a long time because like this one from Head and Shoulders, I didn't use this every time I washed my hair. This is more of like a once a month or every three weeks kind of refresh wash because the rest of the time I'm using my co-wash. As for the conditioner, I unfortunately did not like this one as much because it was just a little too thin and it wasn't moisturizing enough for my hair. I have thick curly hair and I need a lot of conditioner. That's another thing. I went through this really fast just on my hair type. I just I went through it too fast. I think I finished this within a month and then this one lasted me just until like you literally like last wash day is when I still I was still using it. So uh, I wouldn't purchase this one just because it's not moisturizing enough for me. I think this would work better for people with finer hair or shorter hair, probably. As for the hair towel, this was a, like, shocking <laughs> surprise for me because I had still been using it. The only Diva Curl product I technically had left in my collection was the towel. I did buy the Diva towel a while ago, and I had that, and I was using that along with just, like, cotton t-shirts to dry my hair. I did not... I, to be honest... After the whole Diva Curl thing went down, I didn't really want to keep it or promote it, but I didn't have any other, like, towel options immediately read like ready or accessible. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep using it because technically it's just a towel, right? Um, but then I used the one from Madison Reed. It's a lot bigger. It's like, I want to say at least half a size bigger than the Diva Curl one. I don't think I have the Diva Curl towel with me anymore, but I will show you a full-size picture of how big the... Uh, Madison Reed towel is and I love it. It's big enough for me to go and do a full towel turban after wash day. I love plopping my hair in this after I use all of my gel and it's just been a really really good towel. I've had this for a few months now. I've used it. I've washed it. I've air dried it. You don't throw these in the dryer and I love this. This is like my favorite curly hair towel and I use it every single time I wash my hair. And I believe this one is either the same price or even cheaper than the Diva towel. So if you're looking for a good curly hair towel, honestly, I would pick this one up. Hey guys, so it's Editing Monica, and I realized that I did still have the Diva Curl towel. I just haven't been using it in like the bathroom or for my hair. I kept it with like my cleaning supplies. So I still use it around the house just for like cleaning up messes and whatnot. So this is the Madison Reed towel. They look to be the same length, but I will say the Madison Reed is slightly... Um, wider yeah that's the word it's wider and it feels so much easier to put my hair up with this towel versus the deeper curl towel on top of that i've noticed a big difference after i wash the towel so i've gone through two deeper curl towels and that's because the first one that i had after i washed it a few times and i don't dry them i wash them and then i air dry them after a few washes i could feel the difference in the material and it didn't feel as good um, and it just didn't work as well and I wasn't a fan. I've washed the Madison Reed one. I've had it for at least six months now and I've washed it multiple times. I wash it at least like once every other week and there's been no difference at all in the actual like fabric material. So it's been fantastic and I definitely prefer it over the Diva Curl. And the Diva Curl, they're both $20. So they're both the same price. I would say definitely go with the Madison Reed one. I already talked about the Royal Oil Sulfate Shampoo. I literally just picked up a new bottle. Let's go ahead and talk about the co-wash from that same line. It is my favorite co-wash. I've had a couple of co-washes. This one's just the best. I love the scent. I love how gentle yet cleansing it is on my hair. Um, so in a month, typically I use this for three... Um, three-fourths of the wash days and then one-fourth of the wash days I'll go into the actual sulfate shampoo and again I just purchased a brand new one I pu purchased a set uh, because I was just about out of the co-wash and I've repurchased these I cannot remember how many times I've purchased these because they're just that good moving on to my favorite conditioner I got two of these as like a birthday gift a couple years ago and then I purchased it again and again and again this is the not your mother's curl talk three-in-one conditioner this is 
oh my god, this is the slipperiest, most conditioning. It smells amazing. It's like my favorite conditioner to use. Uh, I've gone through, like I said, so many of these. They're amazing. I pick them up at Target. Speaking of conditioner, let's move along to my favorite deep conditioner. I've been loving these deep conditioners from Cantu. So this one is specifically the Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. I've been trying to use these every wash day and like leave them in like 20 minutes in my hair after I wash it and using a hot head heat cap to actually apply heat to it. And I've been seeing great results. The only thing is that I was, I might have been overloading my hair with moisture and not enough protein. The balance just wasn't there. So I think moving forward, I will probably do like the same kind of three, four, to one-fourth mix I'll probably do with a deep conditioner versus an actual protein treatment moving forward. Speaking of the protein treatment, this is the Olaplex. I, I cannot deny the effect it has on my hair. So as much as I don't like the price, I'm going to commit myself to use this. Uh, like I said, I get about three uses out of every bottle, so once you break that down, it's, it's still pretty pricey, but I would say worth it for the effect that I've seen on the health of my hair long term. So I am going to dedicate myself to keep this in my arsenal and use it again the three-fourths model that I laid out. Last but not least let's talk about the product that has saved my hair this summer. Literally without this gel I would just keep my hair up in a bun all the time and you wouldn't see my hair down into the fall. This is the Eco Styling <laughs> This is the Eco Styling Gel. This is a bottle or a big container that I just finished. I actually have like a bulk size container that I found at Target that I currently have in my bathroom. I love this. It is strong, just the right amount of hold. It smells actually surprisingly good, even though it's just like the regular olive oil kind of scent. But it's perfect. It's perfect not only for wash day hair, but for refreshing. Like I just refreshed a couple of my curls with this and I'd refreshed up here and it looks amazing. I've seen gels work really great on wash day, but suck for refresh or vice versa. This works great both ways. So I, this is, this is gold to me. I love this. And without this, I, I would have given up on my hair two months ago. All right, so that is everything I'm feeling so far. I have to say I'm happy now that I'm, I'm in a better place than I was the last few months because honestly, I wanted to do this video a few months ago, but I was in such a bad place with my hair. I felt like I wasn't ready enough to do it. Uh, but now I feel like I'm in a better place. My hair is looking really nice. It's got a nice little trim. And I am just hoping and praying for the fall to hurry up and get here because I hate the summer so much. Oh, one thing. Um, so in my office, so this room that I'm in is my office. So I've got my work desk over there and my filming desk over here. We just bought another window AC unit. So I'm going to have AC in this room. Before I just had like fans. Uh, so like next week, I'm going to have a window AC unit and it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to be chilly throughout all my work days. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your hair has been doing this summer. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.